Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Tom Shu here, and I'm going to make this video for a couple reasons. One is to try to get it all laid out so that I can understand it myself better. But two is to help somebody else not have to deal with the same shit that I dealt with. Okay. Now, I know this isn't rocket science, but these are expensive components and they're hard to get. And if you smoke it because you got the wires wrong, you're really going to hate yourself. All right. So here's the deal. This KISS flight controller is designed to work with the KISS ESC pinouts. And to do that nowadays, they use these little JST type plugs. All right. But all of the ESCs that people are wanting to use, like this Teco 32 F4 Metal 65 amp, the pins don't match this configuration, right? So, you know, this first pin actually matches, which is the VBAT, but the next one is the ground and it's hooked to the telemetry wire of the ESC. So, if you try to go and look at all the information and look at the images and draw it out, you're going to find a couple things out like I did. Like for one, uh, if you're trying to do the pinouts in the wiki or the drawing of the flight controller, the pinouts are denoted with the board upside down, right? So that if you'll note that it says ESC on the left side and this VD is on the left side, that'll show you that the board's upside down. So that means on the left side, this first wire is your battery, and the second wire is supposed to be ground, okay? And then there's another ground for some reason. But we need to make sure all that matches. So, you know, what I did here was, is I drew out all the pins of the ESC on a piece of paper, so I had them all out. And then I was trying to figure out, okay, which wire goes to which so that I could not make a mistake, but it was upside down based on the drawing. So I tried to flip it over so that it was right side up and then I was going to match each wire and then I could just go one, two, three, four down the line and figure it out. Well, I think that's the wrong way to go with all of this stuff being uh, upside down backwards and these components hard to find if you smoke one. What I think the best thing to do is this, is take the flight controller and set it to the side, all right? Grab, plug it in so that you know that it's correct, and then remove all the wires except the one that's already correct, which is the battery wire. And obviously, if you're messing with this stuff, you already know what to do, but... If you zoom in here, let's see if we can get it to focus. Each one of those little tabs lifts up those fingers and the wires slide out. Pull out all the wires. Just back them all out so you've got an empty plug. And then take one wire at a time and bring it up and plug it in. Right? So just unpin them all and do them one at a time and match the wiki drawing. But remember, it's upside down, so don't put them in backwards. Another thing you need to do is there's a telemetry wire, and you need to – actually, let's see here. There's a current wire on the ESC, right? And that needs to go to the CC pad on the FC. So if we look at the FC, the flight controller here. You'll see this one that says CC. The one that says current on the ESC, which is the one, two, three, the fourth one in from the left, will not go into this pin at all. We'll run a wire, make it longer, and we'll run it up to the CC. And then you got to go into the configurator, the GUI, the graphical user interface, and it says disable serial five which is the ESC, ESC telemetry and change to CC pad mode to analog current sensing. And then that will uh, set it up correctly in the configurator. You're also gonna have to remap the motors because 
these ESCs are set up for running beta flight motor positions and KISS motor positions are not one, two, three, four. I think beta flight's one, two, three, four. Well, that's not the way KISS is, right? So this is not motor one. That's not motor two. That's not motor three and that's not motor four. So you're going to have to remap your motors in the GUI also. As far as direction is concerned, if you get one of the motors spinning the wrong way and you need to swap it, you either have to go into BL Heli Suite, plug in your battery, and because uh, you can't do it with the power off to the ESC, and you can reverse and rewrite the information to the ESC, or you could just take two of these wires and swap them, just solder them and desolder them, and that will change the motor direction. Hopefully this will help some of you guys figure this out. It's not that hard to figure out. It's just a little confusing trying to weed through all the information. Uh, Discord's great. The guys will give you answers quickly. The problem is that information gets buried, and there's no reference to go back to. Uh, you can screenshot it, but if you're like me, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> So I lost the information, which I thought I'd already screenshot, and I had to go back in there again today and talk to those guys. And the problem is you'll get a lot of guys answering questions, and one guy's contradicting the next guy. Oh, my bad, I got it wrong. And then the next guy, oh, my bad. Well, you can't oh, my bad when you're dealing with a $90 ESC and an impossible-to-get flight controller, right? So what, they're 70 bucks or whatever, but you can't get them. So if you smoke it, because you get some bad information and you just want to get it quick and be done, it's not good. So my suggestion is to do that, what I said. Unpin the wires all at the flight controller. Just take them all out. Go one at a time into the correct pin location, understanding that the flight controller wiki is upside down. So if you're looking at it right side up and you're trying to plug everything in, you're going to be completely backwards. So just remember, it's upside down. Deal with it the way that it's, you know, pictured in the wiki. And uh, if you got some problems setting up in the GUI, which I haven't done yet, I'm going to make a video on that after I get that working. And uh, we'll see how it goes. You guys take care. Good luck to you. Bye.